Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, here with friends, and we're playing some more Gone Home. We're now down in the basement. Just going home. Did you just pull up a Disney app? Yeah, he's playing. He's playing Frozen Freefall right now. So we came down in here, and we noticed that there's definitely one bell missing in the library, but we haven't really tested these to see what they're for. Remove the frost. Probably like a secret code. You can awaken all the demons. I really don't like that there's... Huh. I wonder if somebody's done a let's play on this and they just do it all in the dark. Oh, we don't have a combo. Oh, shit. Of course we don't. Arbor Hill. What? I'll get a combo number there's, six. There's a greenhouse? With a large Pepsi. What the hell's the greenhouse in this joint? And a combo number nine with a large Sprite. And a Mambo number five. Joshy. I wonder what Joshy's doing right now. He's, He's dead. dead. Is, Is he, he really dead? dead? No. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he might be. He's he definitely gay. had a pretty severe eating problem. Oh, yeah, he was gay. So he was... Oh, okay. No, it doesn't work. How fucking convenient. But why don't you go further? I couldn't. I, I went all the way to the back. Or else I go. Alright, so we gotta figure out a way to get some light in there. Something to do with that com the combination. Yeah, it's, it's probably just like a flashlight in there, let's be honest with ourselves. What's in here? No. We didn't, we didn't check this out. I've been stuck on this whole day. That's kinda cool. That's still a creek fault. Could be. It's a bridal veil. Multnomah Falls. Oh, yeah. Okay. The tallest falls in the oh, state. Yeah. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. <laughs> Preach, even though even though in March I'm pretty sure we had a couple of really hot days there. Yeah, it's really not that bad. <laughs> Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit. Here you come, L. Lonnie, they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. Pussy juice. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. a lot of enthusiasm there. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. What's season eight? Let me bring in Vogel. Oh, yeah. So while you were out in the bathroom, Colby, yes, there's definitely a secret passage behind this bookshelf. So we're gonna go check that out. Oh, great. Three, three, oh, here we go. All right, here we go. We're getting somewhere. At least something going on here. Cool. A little auxiliary room. Costumes, skeletons, and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dresses Jackie Kennedy. The Psycho House Girl. Okay. Coolest stuff about being oh, the Psycho House Girl. You, you read, like, the second part of it. I did. Cool thing number one. Everybody everybody in the hall thinking you don't know that are looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral... Okay. That's a lie to a mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were blah, 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 blah. Okay. Fair. So what room is this? Sonic Youth. Oh, yeah. At the Roseland. I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It it's showed that it was well written. But it has not changed my mind on this matter. While I understand I that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to, as to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is no guilty party has come forward. 
and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring more unwanted attention to yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. I don't, I don't get Lonnie sometimes. sometimes. Like, like her band, her band and, and our zine, and her hair, and hair, and everything are all anti-authority. I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. There's all the stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to about who she is. I can see right she said, up her skirt. they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Wipers. Had enough anger. Interesting. It's definitely going to be another cassette tape around here somewhere. Zin Zine. Kicking against the patriarchy. The great good fellow riot of 95. Huh. My question is, where's the cassette tape? More potato chips. The Roseland Sonic Youth. Right. What have we here? Oh, it's another panel. Okay, this room. I don't know. This room's a little uncomfortable. Oh! Whoa! We... Yeah! Okay, so okay. this is. Yeah, this is cool. the door that was locked. Okay. Cool. Cool, beans. cool shit. Alright, what have we here? Offer a promotion for. Uh, for Miss Greenbrier. Alright. So she got a promotion. Or at least they're offering one. I don't know if she's going to take it or not. Uh -huh. That's weird. En Espanol. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, Lonnie. Such a bitch last night. <laughs> she's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away, and when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family, she knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. Haha, it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You don't have to be a mom every day. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom was a psycho Christian. Her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida <laughs> with him is her eternal punishment, in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No. No! Apparently not. Apparently not. Worst thing ever. Okay. Oh, Froth. The best magazine. What the fuck is Froth? I don't know. With a t-shirt. It's kind of an awkward thing there. Oh boy. I just read something. I just thought there was something there. She got this wrong. There's gotta be something at the end that kills you. Probably not. We'll see. Another one of these. Damn, that's that's a really sick picture. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still had a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and all the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Mom will have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I probably won't get gored by a bull, probably. Love, Katie. God, no butts in heaven. Fair enough. There's no butts in heaven? Yeah, you just get it, you just get it cut off when you get there. I'm just gonna yeah. say that. <laughs> no asses. I don't. I don't want to sign up for it. I'm just gonna say. Man. God, another Carol letter again. <laughs> I'll do hey, that, that's all that's you, man. Funny. That's all you. I need to drink a beer, I don't anyways. Remember how I sounded for. I don't know. You First want... off, congratulations. Jen 
Candace Green. She's not a fucking TV. Director. She's not a TV show. And I say congratulations because come on, you're going to take the the job, right? You what won a ninety five Mustang. For? In an, <laughs> an engraved invitation. Call them back, you fucking dumbass. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our fortunate flannel clad hunk. What a blast. But you know what? You sound like you're reading a lot into an incident. An innocent. innocent night out. You're fucking writing something. You sure there's something there? You sure there's something there? You pay. You said he is an out of town girlfriend? He has an out of town girlfriend. You sure they're not serious? Okay. So we have to figure out what. When? With the freaking clock running sucks. We'll have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. <laughs> I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon. Love, Carol. That's going to be really loud. <laughs> so basically, she's fucking around with, with Ranger Rick, as it would sound. Mm-hmm. Grab uncrumpled manuscript. Oh. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh, it's one of his, yeah, for and his uh, his it up. for his second book. I read you. What else do we have here? Anything? Really at all? Does not look like it. Okay, let's go through the door. Man, this is finally we're in what resembles a kitchen. Do you hear that? Out. This is a really weird house. What am I the only one? Oh, Bratmobile. Some special. There you go, Maddie. It's time to get down with our bad Bratmobile. selves again. Take me there, you know. Sometimes you just gotta give it a try, but okay, really, uh, really not doing it for me. Yeah, you gotta check the pizza box again, though. Oh, I will. Samantha and Daniel. That's a weird way of spelling Daniel. It was sunny, and they were on an adventure. Adventure. They went to the. Okay. They went to the. I don't even know what the fuck that says. Dirt. They went to the deepest part of the woods and it got dark, maybe? Oh, yeah. Daniel said... Are you scarred? scarred? So Smatha said no. Are you? They... I don't know what that says either. They left and went more into the bad part. Then they even... Then they went to a part that was never there before. And then there was a pirate ship. A pirate ship on an ocean? Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you'd be the first mate. <laughs> you'd be the flight now. You'd be the first mate. Daniel said, Aye, 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 cabin. They, they went on the pirate ship and s- started sailing, sailing away. away. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I was not Daniel, Daniel, Daniel finally came over to get his Daniel. game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how we used to be friends. How much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. Got the... For some reason, I almost, I almost believed him. So Daniel's a creepy, creepy He's guy. He's a creepy kid. She doesn't talk to him anymore. And then when she went lesbo... Salad dressing. Yeah. Yeah. Russian. Oh. Russian. I've never, I don't think I've ever had Russian dressing before. 
it's not oh, right. Oh, sweet black. corn. That's what's up. All about that sweet corn. And some black beans. Black beans are tight. Honey snaps. Damn, that's a, that's a fuel for winners. <laughs> that's, just, covered. that's just golden crisp. That's all that is. With a skateboarder on it. The food pyramid. Which what no cereal exists. box ever had the food pyramid on the back? Which no longer exists. Yeah, they took it away, didn't they? Yeah. Brand fiber. That actually sounds that actually looks pretty good. Pecan brand muffins. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know how to make it? Hippos. Hot. <laughs> Sick. I would eat that every day. So would I. I would absolutely do that. And oh, do the oh they filled out the maze too. You yes. bitch, you can't do that. Oh, tight, delicious, moist it's, vanilla cake mix. It's not confetti. Now I don't know who the fuck you are. Tuna dinner. That, like three days ago. With some Durham wheat pasta. Good way to go. Alright, well, we'll get out of there. What's that? Counting. Counting? Didn't you hear that? Or was that just your footsteps? It's, it's probably the footsteps. Got Here it. we go. Anniversary trip. Rick's, let's see, Rick's Wait, wedding. what day did we arrive? I don't remember. The 11th or the 7th? I like how she has. Seventh. I like how she has Rick's wedding crossed out on that. It was the seventh. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it's still technically the seventh. Yeah. Okay, so they're on an anniversary trip. Oh, so that's where they are right now. They're not. They were supposed to be. So who's looking? Are you like a? Uh, you're not like a private eye guy, are you? I don't know. Not really been defined. Oh, God, that's so dark. Or are you somebody? Dude, there are so house? there are so many like weird auxiliary rooms in this place. Unknown dimension. Oh, this is the publisher. First, let me say I hope this this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not. We aren't the feds, the Men in Black, or any sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. With traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type out there mass marketing shunning visionary expression that refuses to be, uh, to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless work such as and then Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krieger's off-band Venusian flat, uh, Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird, dark American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into 20th century civilizations, anxieties, and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick swing heroes nice. that modern suburban American want, but John Russell, mild manner insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do you, what do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint the work. Since your original publisher Mercury Books folded a decade ago, we want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear in a brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah, to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with on this weird odyssey. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. Kaz. Why on that it said we look forward to you something or other? It said looks and they crossed out the S. We look no, no, it's with a dollar sign. It looks like they crossed out the S. Yeah. Yeah. Could be too. Grab hat. Grab ass. Oh, that's uh, Lonnie's. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, she said, not a lot, not a lot really. You're not, You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact, no contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just, you just train, train hard every day, and, and then you deploy from there. So, so they'll just, they'll just send you away. 
The light is somewhere. Though, pretty sure. The other side of the country. Yeah. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't, can't process really? it. <laughs> She's really so going to be gone. gone. Just, just I love gone. These Fritos, though. God, they're great. Holy shit, Fritos are good. Check out that note before we. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd through 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way I... home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. 40 bucks is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Sick. Be good. Dad. She definitely ordered that pizza. Go get 40 bucks. Oh, she done... Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. Mm-hmm. Hold on. So there's definitely still... So who are we at this point? I don't know. Don't answer that. Don't tell me what you saw on the internet. Well, you're the, you're an I think we're Ron Harper. I don't like this. I need some ice cream. Is there a beer in there? Oh, just some cola. standard cola. Yes. And some milk. 1%. The red cap is by or hold. Ooh, yeah. Got it. Hold the microwave. Nothing going. It's still flashing. Hold the dishwasher. Open the rack. Red cup. What's up? Anything in there? No. Open the drawer. Close the drawer. Nothing going there either. Gotta be something. Gotta be something that we're missing somewhere. There's still some things that are not accounted for. We just kind of stuck, or what? I don't think that we're necessarily stuck yet, but there are definitely some things. Wait a minute. Hidden panel in Dad's office. We're gonna have to go check that out really quick. We got, we got just enough time to do that. And there's more stuff down here. It looks like. There is definitely a couple more rooms right here. All right, you know what? We'll we'll stop right now, and we'll check that out next time around. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gone Home, we've got a couple more rooms to explore, and I think there's a hidden panel in one of those offices that we didn't check out. So until then, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, and friends saying thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.